is it not that the security of the region and stability of the region is also at stake here? Uh, if both countries suffer destabilization, uh, they are important as for their position as trade routes, that for, their, for the danger here that whatever afflicts either country can infect the wider region. Uh, would you agree with, with that? Um, well, I, I agree, uh, and since we're here, we'd like to, uh, no dialogue is ever going to go anywhere if it's, there is no candidacy in it. Um, we know what the objectives of, um, uh, of uh, the Afghans are for this war, and our president has called this, this conflict between Pakistan and Afghanistan an undeclared war on us. And we call it an undeclared war because the objectives are not set. We don't know what the objectives are for, for Pakistan's sake. And, and that's something that we've been trying to, um, to discover. Um, the President Ghani invested a huge amount of political capital in, uh, in reaching out to Pakistan, and we've been doing it in, in, uh, throughout the world. This is one example of this, our extending um, hand and olive branch to Pakistan to understand what are the objectives of, the, uh, of this war, of this undeclared war, because in the end, Terrorism, like I said, is a unilateral threat to, to both our countries. And, and if terrorism prevails, the region loses. Um, so I, I think this would be a good opportunity for us to understand and the public to understand what are the objectives of this, uh, uh, this war for, for Pakistan's sake so that we can maybe address that.